Around the world, people use many different types of fuels to heat their homes, cook their food, and power industrial facilities. One of the cleanest fuel options is natural gas, a colorless and odorless gas that is created from organic matter far under the Earth's surface. Natural gas isn't a gas liquid like gasoline. It's a gas like air, and it's trapped in rock far below the Earth's surface. Natural gas is mostly made up of methane, but it also has small amounts of other gases like propane, which is used for barbecues, and butane, which is used for lighters. Thanks to a new type of drilling called fracking, it's much easier to get natural gas to the surface. Fracking works by drilling as far as three kilometers underground and then turning a drill horizontally so it can keep drilling along the horizontal layers of rock where the gas is trapped. The drill can even be turned in several different directions so that only one hole needs to be drilled on the surface to reach numerous areas underground. During the process, the drilling hole or well bore is sealed to the surrounding rock with cement so that no underground gases can escape into the air or shallower rock formations. By forcing frac fluid into the hole, the rock can then be cracked and held open so the gas can travel into the pipe and up to the surface. Frac fluids are typically 98 to 99.9% .9 water and sand, with some chemicals added to make the fluid more effective at fracturing the rock. Once the natural gas is collected at the surface, it is sent through pipelines to an LNG processing plant. The pipeline route is called the right-of-way, and before any pipelines are built, extensive consultation must take place with local First Nations along the route to ensure the pipeline construction and operation respects First Nations rights, title, and traditional land use. The LNG processing plant works like a giant refrigerator that turns warm natural gas into a cold liquid called liquefied natural gas, or LNG. LNG is colorless, odorless, non-corrosive, non-toxic, non-flammable, and non-explosive. By cooling natural gas to negative 162 degrees Celsius, you can take the same amount of gas that would fill 600 vessels and send it overseas in just one ship, called an LNG carrier. LNG carriers are specially designed, double-hauled ships that usually take one day to fill before they head out to port. These carriers are some of the safest ships on the seas. In fact, over the past 50 years, there has never been a serious accident with an LNG carrier anywhere in the world. And if LNG ever did contact water, it would float on the surface for only a short period of time and then quickly disperse into the air as it warmed up. Once the LNG arrives overseas, it's piped off the ship into specialized facilities that take the cold liquid and warm it back up to a natural gas that is then sent to power homes, factories, and vehicles. By having access to cleaner burning natural gas from British Columbia, other countries in Asia can use less coal and other fossil fuels, resulting in tremendous health benefits in Asia and the rest of the world. Air pollution in China alone contributes significantly to the premature death of more than 1.2 million people each year. And some of that pollution from Asia is known to travel across the Pacific Ocean, affecting our environment here in British Columbia. Thankfully, Canada has an abundance of natural gas. And by selling our gas to countries like China, India, and Japan, which need it for their growing economies and population, we can begin to address a serious world health issue while generating revenue that can be invested back into our own health, education, and quality of life. For more information, visit us at steelheadlng.com.